SolidWorks 2025 introduces a brand new document management tool to better organize your work and speed up the process of opening files. Now don't let this one scare you away if you're not a fan of PDM. The new document group tool allows you to save all your open SolidWorks files as a single document group and then reopen them all at once at a later date. If you've ever had to search for and open 10 different files individually just to get back to work on a project, you already know how helpful this is going to be. So let's take a look at how to create, use, and edit document groups in SolidWorks 2025. To create a document group, start by opening all the files you'd like to include, and then navigate to the window dropdown, then create document group. All open files will be selected to include by default, but you can toggle off the save checkbox on the left if you wish to exclude any of them. Then simply provide a name, click create, and the document group will be created. Document groups can be found in the welcome dialog when first starting SOLIDWORKS or by using the home button in the standard toolbar if SOLIDWORKS is already open. You'll also find a new tab in the recent section of this dialog if you prefer to work from here instead. And as expected, clicking on the document group quickly reopens every file associated with it making it a breeze to get back to work. Now a couple important notes. Just like any other file reference in SOLIDWORKS, renaming or moving a file that's part of a document group will cause the document group to be unable to find it, and you'll be presented with an error message. If you read this message closely, you'll notice that it's asking you if you would like to remove the missing document from the group. If you click OK, the document will be removed from the group, whereas if you click Cancel, it will just be ignored meaning if you restore the missing file to its original name and location, it will be included again. So this is something to keep in mind. Lastly, you can update document groups whenever you'd like, and then it's very straightforward. To add files to an existing document group, you only need to open the files you wish to add. Then, once again, access the window dropdown, then create document group, and choose the existing document group from the dropdown. You'll notice the window populates with all the document group file names, including any newly opened files. Then simply click Create, and the document group will be updated. To remove files from a document group, just follow the same procedure, but when presented with a list of files, disable the Save checkbox next to the files you wish to exclude. Document groups are an intuitive productivity tool that can go a long way toward improving the efficiency of design work in SOLIDWORKS 2025, and we encourage everyone to give them a try. If you appreciated this video, do us a big favor and give it a like, as it'll really help other SOLIDWORKS users find it. If you want to learn more about the new enhancements coming to SOLIDWORKS 2025, consider subscribing to the channel. Or better yet, check out the full What's New series for SOLIDWORKS available at solidprofessor.com. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.